Seeing that people were genuinely interested in the previous video, I decided to share with you guys how I draw the Greg Martin style American Sonic. Step number one, draw an imperfect circle. Note how I did not say draw a perfect circle. Sonic's head is a spheroid shape, sure, but it's not 100% geometrically accurate. Keep it rough as you can fix it later on. Step number two, rough out where the eyes will go. I used to do this by drawing a skewed rectangle or by drawing a parallelogram in which to place the eye shapes. Now I find it easier to just use lines. Remember that his head is usually tilted towards the left or the right, so one part of his eye will seem larger than the other. Step number three, add the muzzle. I always called this part of his face his chin, but according to Sonic fans, that's a muzzle, apparently. Well, whatever it's called, it's an important part of his face and you have to draw it. You will notice that I haven't fully connected his eyes to his face, leaving a notable gap. Before those of you with OCD get triggered, the reason for this space is because it gets filled in by his nose. Step number four, draw that bulbous nose. I always treat his nose as a third eye when drawing it, as it is roughly the same shape and gets shaded similarly. Step five, rough out where the pupils will go. The placing of the pupils differs from Japanese art, as they are closer together, giving a full cross-eyed look to him that's pretty funny to me, honestly. Step 6. Draw the pupils. The pupils are roughly in the shape of an oval, but stretched vertically. The same goes for his nose, except it's horizontally. Number 7. Add his ears. His ears are a unique shape and not the edited half cones used by Sega of Japan. I would recommend using source material as reference. Step 8. Rough out the head spines. These are in a mohawk style. Reference material is again recommended. Step number 9. Shade. Leave a little bit of white to the extreme right of the nose and near the base of the eyes, as this usually gets coloured in brown. Step number 10. Sketch the body. Ironically, Greg Martin would sometimes draw Sonic with a body shaped like an egg. Considering US Robotnik looks more like a beach ball, I'd say that Sonic is the real egg man here. Step 11. Form his arms and hands. This part can be tricky. You need to try doing this at least three times. I obviously need a little more practice as this took me a couple more times than that. Step 12. Add the legs and the shoes. Reference material is again recommended here. Step 13. Remove the guidelines. This should be simple enough. You may need to redraw a few things, but that's fine. And step 14. Correct any inconsistencies. This is very important if you want your drawing to look accurate. You can give it colour if you really want to, but for this, I won't do that. You can add a little bit more shading if you want, but this is the basic image. There you have it. Not bad, huh? Here's the image I was drawing for reference. And yeah, if you want me to do any more of these, I'll show you. Keep experimenting, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye! Step 13. Remove the guidelines. This should be simple enough. You may need to redraw a few things, but that's fine. And step 14. Correct any inconsistencies. This is very important if you want your drawing to look accurate. You can give it colour if you really want to, but for this, I won't do that. You can add a little bit more shading if you want, but this is the basic image. There you have it. Not bad, huh? Here's the image I was drawing for reference. And yeah. If you want me to do any more of these, I'll show you.
Keep experimenting, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.